Hello everyone and welcome back. We're about to get our next mission in our Oslo variant, De the USS DeForest. Starfleet Intelligence has decoded the list of Riemann targets that you recovered from the vault. I need you to investigate one of these locations and determine why Obasek and his forces plan an attack there. The Vahar system is still technically part of the Romulan Star Empire, but Ferengi speculators have moved in and the Empress has done nothing to remove them. The Ferengi have reopened the mines and are now doing business with anyone with Latinum. You will go to the Vahar system under the pretense of negotiating a possible trade agreement with the Federation. Talk to Madlon, the operator of the mines. Convince him to allow you access. Find out all you can. Once we know why Obasek and the Remans are targeting these mines, then we will be able to decide how to proceed. Acknowledged. I have new missions for you. Sliding on the pad doesn't do anything. All oh, right, we got our uh, duty officers. Alrighty, we failed to play a game of Fizzban. What? Officers <laughs> decide we're unable to decode the files. Once in a while, there's something that it's like, oh, I can't do it. officers, huh? That's fine. 
begin. The Remans were targeting the Magnesite mine in, in this area, but the list we recovered didn't have its exact coordinates. I know we're in the right area, but all of the moons in this system are inhabited and our system sensors are being affected by the Magnesite. We'll need to contact each moon and try to determine which one the Remans were actually targeting. We couldn't have, you know, just asked which of the moons? <laughs> Stuck your nose in our business for the last time, Starfleet. All ships, attack, attack. Sorry. Damage resistance and stealth debuff. Emergency powered weapons. Press disabled weapon systems. Okay, we're gonna set that to go off automatically whenever the weapon system's knocked out. What unfriendly neighbors. Honestly. Oh, there's a lot of debris right over there. We're gonna hold off right here. <laughs> Wait for our weapon systems to come back online. This moon is private property! No solicitors, beggars, or Starfleet allowed! Not very hospitable around here, are they? This is a dangerous area, and it's only gotten worse since the destruction of Romulus. It might be difficult to get someone to trust us. Sorry about that. We'll just leave you alone then. What's the auxiliary power for? Once we hit 55%. Hello, my good 
friends. I'm so happy to meet you. Perhaps you are in the market for some high quality magnesite? Hmm? We have the finest ore in the quadrant. On behalf of the miners and residents here, I'm more than happy to welcome you to our home. Please, transport to the surface. Unfortunately, the large amounts of extremely pure magnesite ore in the core of our little world will interfere with your sensors. For safety reasons, I must insist that you use the transporter signal enhancers that I have installed at my own expense. Also, I know you Starfleet types are so fond of your away teams, but could you please restrict the number of crew you bring down to the surface? My people here aren't used to strangers, and you wouldn't want to disrupt their work, would you? No, no I wouldn't. Let's bring down. Okay, yeah, I can't upgrade their thing. Three seconds. Chance to damage the attacker when you take damage. Indicator, let's recycle. Yeah, I'm not going to use these. Uh,
Alright, I think I can get rid of these uh, environmental suits. Great kit. Hmm. Oh, tactical module kit. Yeah, we're gonna destroy all of those, because I can't sell them. Oh no! <laughs> Not the triples! Madrin. On behalf of everyone on this forsaken rock, let me be the first to welcome you to Hathara. As you can see, we don't have time for pleasantries, and I'm not sharing my Tronya stash with you. So, why don't we skip the chit chat and get down to business? Of course. I've heard you have. You are an excellent source of magnesite. But what makes your mine better than the others in the sector? Unfortunately, I cannot call this mine my own. I'm just a middleman. Out of the goodness of my heart, I help the residents here pass on the products of their hard work to commercial entities such as yourself. The minuscule transaction fee and trade tariff I keep to offset my expenses is figured into the unit cost of the my operation has become one of the best in the area because of the high demand for my services from both sides. I provide the best mining equipment and supplies in the sector to the miners, while my customers get competitive pricing on the ore they need. Of course. Uh, do you have any more information about the mines themselves? I don't pay much attention to that. Miners have empty carts, and they return with ones filled with ore. If you're... If you're that interested, you could visit the mines themselves. But I don't recommend it. It's such a dirty, disagreeable business. And I'm convinced that breathing ore dust for too long is terrible for you. The miners who live near my quarters used to keep me up night after night with their dreadful coughing. I had to install soundproofing just to get some sleep. Are you sure you wouldn't rather have... Are you sure you wouldn't rather look at the ore I have for sale? Thanks, but I'd like to talk to the miners first. Really? Suit yourself. Just remember, I have an exclusive contract to export magnesite ore from this moon. If you try to cut me out of your deals, you'll regret it. I just have a few questions before we conduct any business. I'll be back when I'm done. Madran won't answer any questions about why the Remans might be targeting this place for fear of scaring us away from a possible sale. Got it. Ready, five duranium.
I'm sorry. I, I really can't talk at the moment. I have to finish a survey of the area so the miners can start work on a new mine shaft. Is there anything I can do down? I need someone who is familiar with the techniques involved in sonar analysis of soil compositions. How good is your pedology? I just completed a continuing education program on pedology. I've marked some coordinates on your map. Please go there, scan the soil content, and report back to me. Got it. Time to hang him back, hang the phaser back up. Don't want to spook him. Thank you so much for your help. This information will be incredibly useful when we're ready to tap a new vein of ore. To answer your question, I'm not sure what makes this mine special. I haven't had much chance to explore the whole thing, though. My shuttle broke down in the system six weeks ago. <laughs> Modron was happy to pick me up, but he's holding my shuttle until I've worked off the cost of the repairs. God, I can't wait to get off this rock. I have seen some strange people in the lower levels of the mine. I tried to do a survey down there once, but they wouldn't let me pass. Perhaps you should look there. Thanks. Your side's training has paid off. Typical Ferengi. You always pay just enough. You want to go in the mine? Are you really interested in buying any magnesite? Or are you just here to cause trouble? Because if it's the last one, I know some place you can start a little ruckus. Huh? There's a gang that controls the bottom levels of the mine. They won't even let me in there. Previously, I allowed them to keep their little kingdom in exchange for information. But lately, they've been more trouble than they're worth. And the intel they're feeding me is useless. Honestly, who doesn't know about the green invasion of the fairy space? I'll take that information to heart. I'll cause a little trouble for them. It's time to explore the mine. Down we go.
What do you want? I'd like to enter this area. This area is restricted. Only people my friends and I like me it. And I don't like you. Maybe if you got to know me a little better, you'd learn to like me. You don't belong here. I'm done talking with you. Leave now. You suffer the consequences. It's been a pleasure wasting my time with you. What do you want? This area is restricted. What? Okay, fine then. Well, I really wish I could have talked that over with him, but, uh... <laughs> Our hands are tied. <laughs> Triage. I wanted to heal. Quit moving. <laughs> Two anomalies in the area. Guess the other one is that way. Yep. A series of pressure plates located in this area. They're low tech, but the Romulans may have had resort to outdated security measures because of interference from the magnesite veins in this cave. The problem is, is that the ma magnesite is making our tricorders almost useless. If there's anything on this moon that the Remans would want to eliminate badly enough to use Thalaron weapons, it has to be here. We're going to have to figure out how to use the partial plates to reveal whatever the Romulans are trying to hide. I suspect we need to activate two of them to open the door. This is interesting. I was here for you are alive. With all due respect, sir, there is a difference between protecting the Empire from her enemies and provoking There is much here you do not understand. The Remans need to know their place. As do you, I will not forget your insubordination, Commander. The tall she are. Has no place for officers who cannot follow orders. <laughs> I'll be in the command center. Colonel, 
They were civilians. Their blood is on our hands. Get used to it. There will be more. Speaking of which, why don't you clean out the brig before you become a resident there? Oh, joy. Yep. I almost feel sorry for you, but I have my own way to work. I'll be joining you in there soon enough. If a key passes away, we all will. Surrender. I value my life more than the Tal Shiar secrets. I'll tell you anything you want to know. But first, you must tell me why you are here and what you want. Why does the Riemann Resistance want to destroy this base? The Riemanns know about this base? Impossible! Only the leadership of the Tal Shiar know we're here. The Empress herself couldn't find us. I don't believe you, but it makes no difference. This is not a military installation. We listen and record here. Nothing more. There are many targets that those Riemann scum would find much more tempting. Enough of these lies. Are you sure you want to end things like this? Yes. There's probably stuff in the other room.
Resistance is futile. Well, I don't know what I expected. Captain Sulu has applied for the transfer to the front lines of Klingon conflict. Good on Captain Sulu for continuing to fight on. Seventh Fleet entered neutral zone as part of a routine series of exercises. Franklin Drake heading extended operations at in. It Starfleet Command considering new tactics and conflicts with True Way. Starfleet Intelligence concerned with the rise of in war profit by independent Ferengi and Sparrow use in Royal Palace indicates that lower levels may be in use. Senator Schmeck Shemek is accepting bribes in exchange for slowing progress on trade agreements. Rogan representative meet, meet with Sela Riemannop representation representative oh so that's why you're they're upset This would have been very useful. Jinnok was fighting with Hakiv again. Hakiv takes Shell and leaves base for two days. Long range sensors mark his progress in neutral zone. Six miners held for questioning. Chief Medical Officer reports two cases of. Levodine flu, six encrypted messages sent from to unknown recipient. Hi. <laughs> Alrighty. We are out of here.
Was it a g By the way, Madran. Yeah? That wasn't a gang, that was the Tal Shiar. I didn't do anything. There was a Tal Shiar cell you were sheltering. Tal Shiar? I'm shocked! I have no idea. I certainly wouldn't have sent you down there if you... Hey, you didn't happen to find anything valuable down there, did you? Because if you did, remember, I have an exclusive contract. Stop with the lies, Madran. I know you know. I know you knew who... And what was down there? And what's it to you? This is a rough area of the quadrant, you know. And they're good neighbors. If you're not easily embarrassed, the cameras and listening devices are everywhere. I haven't had a single problem with Orion's or Herodian since they moved in. And it doesn't hurt that I acquired the odd bit of information here and there. I'm a businessman, and information is big business. Do you know anything about what they discovered? Recently discovered? No. I'll admit, I was trying to find out, but their systems were locked down tight. I'm sure whatever it was had to be big news. Everyone was on edge. Janet and Hakeem were barely speaking, and I once heard Hakeem mumbling something about orders. Someone, someone been pulling his strings, but I don't know who. I do know how Shiar takes security very seriously. If you manage to pull any files from your system, you can expect them to be heavily encoded. Trust me on that. I speak from experience. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go talk a hundred Romulans into digging a new mine to replace the one you destroyed. My profit margin for this month is ruined. You've been a real help, Matran. Alright. Back to the ship. Of course it was back. Oh well. <laughs> To the bridge. This will actually be fun. This is the first time I'm visiting the DeForest's bridge. Assuming it ever wants to load. Decipher Tal Shiar files. Hmm. Fervor. 
Emperor Kallus has been spotted in Breen space. Chancellor Chimpak has a potential adversary in Gerard. The House of Torg was brought before the High Council for commendation by the House of Matrok, Martok. The Forecast 3 Baleth tournament has a new champion. Press reference with Starfleet files. Open file of reciprocity. Nice. Fervor plethora. Analyze file structure. Cross-reference with Starfleet records. Change faulty information. Exposed at. Select new file. Precedence. Command for Tal Shiar listening post, Hephaestus, Hakiv, Chianic, Livak, Tal definitely not Talaris. Random. So now it votes to give Empress Sela power to override rulings of imperial courts. Start Jurok visits Andoria. Remit rebels attack transports in Iota Pivanis. Senate ratifies new tax in Dilithium. Alrighty. Try Vulcan. Now let's check out the the fire structure. Apply the pass key. Secret Raymond Raymond Rem base detected in the Dira system. Visiting post Hephaestus has detected an increase in subspace communications at ship ships traveling to and from the Dira system. Analysis of the communications and ship traffic reveals patterns of obfuscation normally employed by Riemann forces. Tal Shiar forces then intercepted a ship leaving the Dira system and captured 47 Riemann civilians. Passengers and crew were summarily executed under orders of Colonel Hakiv, but the captain and first officer were preserved for questioning. So to decipher encrypted communication sent to the Dira system. The decrypted messages prove that there is a base in this area of space being used by the Riemann resistance.
Alrighty, let's prep for let's prep for flight. I don't know why I'm being transported somewhere. The Tal Shiar records you recovered show that Hakib and his forces have been targeting the Remans for months. Obasek and his followers have been driven from their homes, had their ships destroyed, and their loved ones killed or imprisoned. Some might say that Obasek's campaign against the Tal Shiar is just. However, Obasek was planning on using Phaleron weapons in the Fahar system, which would have killed hundreds of innocent civilians as well as the Tal Shiar cell there. This is the problem with revenge. Violence and fury only create more pain and suffering. I have Congratulations, Commander. Frozen, huh? We know from the information you recovered from the Bahar system that the Tal Shiar are planning to attack a Riemann settlement in the Dara system. We have an opportunity to reach the settlement first. This may be a completely internal matter, and if so, the Prime Directive will come into play. We will not be able to interfere, but if there is an outside influence directing these matters, we must know what it is. Our encounters with the Undine and the Changelings have proven that there are entities attempting to move the powers of the Quadrant like pieces in a cow toe game. It is essential to protecting the Federation to see these attempts for what they are and counter them. I want you to go to the Dara system and learn more about the Riemann uprising. The Riemanns will have hidden their base, so you may have to use subterfuge to find it. One more thing. I realize this is a dangerous situation and that you may be drawn into conflict. But do not antagonize the Remans or the Romulans if you can avoid doing so. We are already at war with the Klingon Empire. I would prefer to avoid another extended conflict. I have new missions for you. shield regeneration again miracle workers are the galaxy's best Was about right. Don't antagonize though, that could be a tall order. Five percent chance of one random subsystem going out, huh?
wonder how fast we're going. I really like the look of this ship. <laughs> Fun. The humans are jamming our sensors. There's no way to determine where their base is located without assistance. We need a guide. Communication satellite nearby. We should be able to modify it to emit a signal that the humans will think is from one of their ships. Sensor function, we can use it to hide from the Raven ships. Fake the stress signal. Before we alter it, let's some more hydrazine. Check out the transmission. Ruben should think it's from a vessel that is losing power and needs assistance. Scout ship in range, and it's moving to scan the area. Track the Robulan battleship. Engines are damaged and sensors are detecting ta a tachyon leak. We can't stay hidden for long. If we distract the Romulans, then the Remans will have a chance to decloak and go to warp. Otherwise, I don't think they can last long against the Romulans. If the Reman vessel is destroyed, we'll lose our best chance at finding the base. out of your Federation's territory, aren't you? Offer no aid or assistance to these Riemann rebels and leave this system immediately. If you do so, I can overlook your intrusion into an internal affair. Otherwise, I would be forced to see your presence here as an invasion of Romulan territory. That would be unfortunate for you. Okay.
Can we please start recovering? Thank you, some better impulse engines. Apparently not better. Please tell me we've got a lock on it. Not yet. Let's grab that and then we can get out of here. Follow that scout. Ships here, Commander, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are one or more cloaked ships in the area. Riemann cloaked ships can appear as concentrations of Tetrion particles. I will continue scanning the area. Great. Something interesting on the planet's surface, however. Really now? This is detecting a large underground installation. It could very well be. <laughs> the Riemann resistance is using. The entire area is protected by a magnetic shield, though, so we can't transport inside. There are a series of caverns connected to the installation. We could send a team th there and try and find a way to disable and circ or circumvent the sh magnetic shielding. Actually, before we beam down, Vitrion particle. Alrighty. Now we can beam down. It's 
moved a derelict vessel into the caverns. We appear to be in the maintenance area adjacent to the hull of the ship. Humans probably mine these tunnels for raw materials, picking up multiple veins of ore that could be very useful if they are replicating ship parts or weapons. Not reading in any way into the ship from here, though. I need to find the entrance. Very interesting. Now that everyone's upgraded, I should probably give them better equipment. Is that the tricorder's picking up it's further to the west. But we're going to investigate this place anyways. I don't need more triples. This one leads directly to the main area of the base. Well, they're not going to be too happy about us blasting through everything. But, uh, we don't have much of a choice. So 
Something must be wrong with the mining laser, sir. No! You think so, Scavrin? We should perform a more detailed scan to determine the source of the problem. With a similar laser in your applied sciences class, if you could augment the focusing lens, you should be able to amplify the effect. There are crystal formations in the maintenance tunnels. One of them might have a crystal with the correct properties. Interesting. Why spiders? Why does every new species we encounter try to kill us? You know, that's a very good question. I wish I knew the answer. Crystals appear to be the correct size and purity, but it will need to be shaped and refined before you can use it to amplify the mining laser's output. Oh, well, it's a good thing I'm a technician then. And there are going to be more ice spiders over here. I knew it! <laughs> with you on this one. Why does everything we meet want to kill us? process complete. I swear, if there are more ice spiders here... That did it, sir. Power to the mining laser is steady and it should be ready to fire. Are we through? I'm s I can't hear you, Taurus. Tarsi. <laughs> Path inside the Riemann base is clear, Commander. The Riemanns will be alerted to our presence, so we will need to be careful. But I have a feeling that Obasek wants to see us. Yeah, so do I.
Raven seemed to be expect seemed to have been expecting us. Perhaps we should have just knocked. You know, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Hello. Mm. This space is remarkable. The Remus must have disassembled the old ship and beamed it, the pieces in one at a time to construct it. Well, that's great. Are you done being impressed now? won't be safe forever. We have to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Prepare the... Ah, Hello. It's you. Welcome to the heart of the Resistance, little spy. There is so much for us to discuss, and so little time. The Tal Shiar have discovered this, our last refuge. They will be here soon, and my people and I will have to fight for our lives. Yet one question remains. Will you be our friend? Or our enemy. I'm afraid that unless there is some outside force, I won't be able to pick a side. My hope is that you are here to talk. But I am prepared for the alternative. I have no wish to fight with you, Albisek. As I have said before... The Tal Shiar could arrive at any time. Speak quickly. Why do you think the Tal Shiar are doing this? Achieve and the Tal Shiar no longer serve the Empire. The demons of air and darkness are their masters now. They whisper in the night for chaos and despair. And Hakiv gives them blood as tribute. Our blood. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Tell me about these demons. I've never seen one of these demons, and I will not speak their name, but I know they exist. Eons ago, they ruled this part of the galaxy. After thousands of years of tyranny and death, the races they ruled rose up against them, driving them from their home world into unexplored space. We thought they had been destroyed. We were wrong. The demons of air and darkness survive. And they hunger for revenge. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Did Sela? Did Sela order these attacks? This campaign of terror is the Tal Shiar's doing, not the Empress's. Still, Sela does nothing to stop it. There is little love between the Empress and the Tal Shiar. Did you know that many years ago, she was exiled from Romulus for attempting to assassinate the head of their order? The Tal Shiar have their own masters, and Sela despises what she cannot control. Is there anything else you wish to ask? I may not agree with your tactics, but I will not stop you. I am glad you see things my way. Get instructions from your commanders if you must, but the battle rages, and we must join it. With your help, my people will be free. I'm pleased you see that my cause is just. We can do great- Sir, Romulan transporter signal detected. The Tal Shiar have entered the base. Start the evacuation. We must get the civilians out. Commander Ravshna, transport the reinforcements here. Tell them to assist our new ally. I will return to my ship and attempt to hold off their forces. Help my soldiers defend this base. Fight well, my friend. My people are counting on you. Transport inhibitor. You'll need to find that inhibitor and shut it down. Got it. Hello.
Thank you, Mr. Phaser Turret. So we can take off that transporter inhibitor. Raymond should be able to handle it from here, Commander. We should return to the ship and report to Admiral Tanay. Obsec trusts us. I don't know if he's right about the outside influence on Q's actions, but I'm sure that he believes these demons are real. Jeez Louise! I sympathize with Obasek's plight, but I do not know if we will be able to assist him. He has no proof of these demons that he claims are directing Haki's actions. Without that, becoming directly involved in this conflict would be a violation of the Prime Directive. We will protect the Federation, offer aid to the refugees, and keep this conflict from spilling over into our territory. But if Obasek and his followers are going to continue this fight, they will do so without Starfleet support. High beam pistol, split beam rifle. Let's get the wide beam I have pistol. There's more going on here. We can't just ignore it. I agree with you. There is more to this story, and we must continue to follow the trail until all is revealed. As I have said, Directly assisting the Remans against the Tal Shar would be interfering with an internal affair, and that is prohibited by Starfleet regulations. However, I will authorize you to continue investigating this matter. If you can find evidence that supports Obasek's claims, then more options will be open to us. Really? Obasek, putting him on screen now. The Reman Resistance is very much in need of your help. My contacts tell me that Starfleet has rejected my request for military assistance. That is regrettable, but not unexpected. The Tal Shiar are formidable opponents, as are the forces directing their action. I understand why the Federation would hesitate to engage them directly. So today I appeal to you, not as an ally in battle, but as a person of compassion. My people need your help. I need your help. One of our ships was carrying a load of Thaleron weapons through the Nopada system. That ship has disappeared. There are no indications there was a battle. It's as if my ship and its cargo simply vanished. 
I know you have your reservations about the lengths to which I will go to secure the freedom of my people. Tell me, if you do not trust me with Thaleron weapons, do you want Hakiv to have them? I can provide you with the last coordinates of the vessel. Please help me. Do what you will with the weapons, if they survive. But find my people. Very the well. Raven resistance is very much in need of your help. Just back to the ship. going all that far. Thankfully. I don't like the sounds of this mission. <laughs> Deal with it when we get to it. Coliseum. Reading any active vessels on scanners. There is, however, a debris field nearby. It's clustered around a satellite in the orbit of the planet. The composition of the debris corresponds with ships that have gone missing in the region. I'll keep scanning, sir, but we need to take a closer look before I can determine if there are Thaleron weapons on one of those hulks. Yeah, that doesn't seem very... That seems very not worrying. Just a bunch of derelict ships right around a satellite. Let's get these Vetrion particles. Alrighty, time to go to the totally not ominous. Detecting the vessel that Obsex sent us to find, but all other ships in this debris field show shines of being affected by the same thing. Loaded their systems. What if crashed on the planet's surface or gone adrift somewhere else in the system? Recorded the stress signal. 
Why? We're stuck. Fly in a spider's web. We've managed to keep life support and vital financial systems active, but almost everything else is offline. Shields, weapons, engines... Nothing works. I'm not detecting any life signs on the satellite, sir. There is a compartment with life support. The systems operating the beam must be automated. The chief says if we have enough power in the backups for one transport. Recommend we send a team over to that satellite and find a way to turn the beam off. Alright. <laughs> Consoles here appear to control the beam that is draining power from the deforest. There's a security lock preventing access. We need to find a usable console. Nobody saw any red flags. This console doesn't appear to be locked like the others. Whoever did this must not have thought that the console used for inventory control was important. Alrighty, I see the problem. The Romulan consoles are causing the, a lockout by forcing the satellite's primary processor to run through a series of equations and removing key bits of information, which causes the processors to lock up. We can solve these equations and input the correct information directly into the consoles. The security lock on the satellite's controls should be released. Alrighty. Number in the first column, incorrect. Click a road to cycle through the numbers. There's one more place I can do a scan. And it must be down this way. There we are. Alrighty, now we can solve the equations. Shouldn't be that hard. So A will be... Seven? Alrighty, 495... Nice 297. Alrighty, so that'll be... See fifty nine times forty fifty nine times forty nine. Alrighty, let's see here. Nine times nine is eighty one. Eighty one uh, nine times five is forty five. Plus eight is fifty four. Okay, 
So nine times fifty nine is five hundred and forty one plus two thousand. Hang on. Okay, so forty times fifty nine is four times nine is thirty six. Two hundred thirty six times ten, two thousand three hundred sixty. Okay, <laughs> it's time to crack out the computer calculator because <laughs> unfortunately, my math skills aren't that good. <laughs> That one. And I would not have been able to solve this one at any point. Hmm. I'm no good with division. Okay, so 2613 divided by 67. I mean, theoretically, I could just trial and error this, but. Okay, next set of equations. Oh, come on! <laughs> Fine. 87 times 23 plus 2,631 equals... Alrighty. A is 6. B is 3. Right, and this one is 9,986 minus 2,461 equals divided by 43. Equals 175. Screw you, Robulids! <laughs> Alrighty. 6,362 minus 5,634 plus 54 times 68 <laughs> equals Alrighty, this should be 4,400. That's it, 4,400. <laughs> Some of the equations that were causing issues on the other consoles. Now we need to plug those, these correct consoles. Alrighty. We can finally fix this. Let's 
snared a piece of debris near the ship. Its stranglehold on us is weaker, but we're not out of the woods yet. Critical systems are stable. We still don't have weapons or long-range communications. Roger. Council controls the station's general the satellite's general operations. Perhaps we can turn off all the functions that are affecting our ship. Alrighty, so we need to actually mess with this thing first. Able, weren't able to free our ship by targeting something else, perhaps we can decrease the power of, to the satellite's weapons. Low power save mode. Economical. Set processor priority values. Store factory default settings. It's not attempt to move or fire at the satellite that will that it will engage a lower power version. Almost like it's in an energy saving mode. At least we won't have to worry about life support. We'll hold the ship stable and keep working on boosting power to critical systems while you disrupt the satellite's functions and free us. Alrighty, time to turn the satellite off. Set satellite operation state to off. End session. The replicators are working again. Transporters are standing by, sir. We can beam you back as soon as you're ready. Return to the ship. We've got everything we need. And I hope to God we never have to do more math. Where am I? again. Yep. Destroy. Yes. Destroy.
I've never seen those weapons used before by anyone in the arena. I think the mercenaries who act as the occasional guard thought that those weapons might actually be worth something, unlike the beat up ones they let us use. My best guess is that they're looking to sell them at some point when their contract here is up for some extra money. Valda, stupid. Commencing test one. No part in desert Atari entering testing area. Oh joy. More spiders. We're in trouble. We're in trouble, aren't we? This is fun. Well, this is a fine kettle of fish we were in, little buddy. So, know any good? Can you play Pazak? <laughs> Through this system, a satellite disabled our ship. It drifted into the planet's atmosphere. I activated the emergency transporter, and a few of us were able to transport to safety before the ship crashed in the desert. 
We were looking for shelter and a way to contact our people when a group of soldiers found us. They took us here and kept throwing us into the arena. Now I'm the only one remaining. You said you were transporting. You said you were transporting weapons. What happened to them? We were transporting a shipment of Thaleron weapons. I know that your people will not use them. We do not want to, but our fight is getting desperate. We needed to do something, anything, that would shift the tide of war. Even if that choice was horrific. I jettisoned our cargo as we were entering the atmosphere. The weapons were completely destroyed. I've seen what Thaleron weapons are capable of firsthand. I could not allow them to contaminate a world not involved in my people's fight. I don't know who is watching for this place. The trainers and the guards all appear to be mercenaries, without any clue about what's going on. They're paid to keep us in cages and look the other way. The night I was brought in, I was interrogated. There were bright lights in my eyes and a synthetic voice asking me questions. Whoever it was took care to conceal his identity. Was that the first time you were interrogated? No. I have been questioned by these people several times before. My reluctance to answer their questions earned me this shock collar. Refusal to help them now is quite painful. Interestingly enough, this was the first time I've been questioned about another participant in the arena. They asked how you treated me, and if you had said anything about why you were here. They even wanted to know if I thought we could become friends. Someone thinks you are very important. Why would they want to know those things? I have no idea what they want with us, or why they make us fight. This all seems like some sort of giant game. But there is no one in the stands to be entertained. Am I the only person you've been paired up with so far? I've had several partners in my battles. You are the only one about which I've been questioned. You must have impressed our masters. I know you have impressed me. Are we the only ones here? I think there are others. I hear other fights. If there are other prisoners, I have never been able to contact them. We are kept separated and caged, unless we are fighting. How many fights have you been in? Too many. Do you know any any way past their defenses? The trainers carry key cards. That's the only way I know to get through the defenses. Do you think we can get one of those key one of those cards? Can I trust you. Yes. I can see that we think the same way, friend. A few years ago, I worked as a bodyguard for a Ferengi merchant. He had a talent for acquiring latinum. And during my time with him, I learned a few things. I was able to lift a key card from one of the trainers during my interrogation. If you help me, I think we can overpower the guards and escape through the main door in the arena. Let's get out of here. Try to free the other prisoners. You fight the worms.
no! Use the consoles on the sides of the arena to fight the Elder Worm! Opportunity to drift spores. Oh, heck it. Alrighty. There's the last small worm. Just like last time. Use the remaining console on the side of the arena to fight the Elder Worm. There's another set of consoles by the metal wall. Use them while the worm is distracted. I've been hit. I can't continue, my friend. You need to protect me! Hi there. I just need to borrow this area real quick. Grab that. Here we go.
Radio defense is activated. The worm destroyed the metal wall! Run! That's our way out! Oh, son of a... That's a gateway. Son of a... Son of a... This is... If whoever created this laboratory has raped... Controls to an Iconian gateway... Might be able to pull some information off of the logs. Medications... Her master's patience wears thin, Hakiv. The time grows short, and still you have not provided all of the species data that they require. Trouble acquiring targets. I provided you with the necessary technology to modify the satellite. Uh, base Delta, the IW, the IRW, Lehav, Leaval, Bri 3, Dara 4, Hifar, Listening Post, Gamma. Disable the dampening field. Get our weapons back. Oh, joy. They did not program any swimming controls. <laughs> Watch out. There are Romulan scorpion fighters overhead. They're looking for us. We need to move quickly and smartly to avoid detection. I recommend we head to the east. See that mountain in the distance? My ship crashed on the other side. It may have something we can use to signal your vessel. The search for us will only get more intense the longer we stay here. We need to get away from the arena as quickly as possible. Roger. to a place to rest. Hmm. 
Keep Peretic. Help alleviate his, his particular dark plant doesn't look healthy and you aren't getting much sap from it. Or a robust sample of this plant before you can treat stomach injuries. Sending a Wendy conditions. It would work as a disinfectant. It is. You can leave more than one sample from this type of plant to deal with the injury. Wash is a desert. So when we got transported off... So when we got transported off, they must have grabbed... How did they grab me? I'm assuming that's what happened. If they grabbed me... How did they grab me while I was transporting? for later. Lucky I'm a medic. <laughs> I just hope he hasn't passed away. That would really suck. <laughs> because we don't have much of a choice. <laughs> oh, this dark foreboding canyon. Have my character never seen a wildlife I'm pretty sure I don't want to fight whatever is here I have to anyway aren't I
destroy. We're under attack by giant lions. It's precisely what I wanted. I really hope your ship's not all that much farther. The weather isn't going to hold out for too much longer. We should look for a place to spend the night. I've noticed that there are things we can gather along the way to make our night more pleasant. The search patrols are moving on. We will not survive a night in this desert. We need to find shelter and safety. If we can scavenge provisions to create a camp, we'll have a better chance of reaching the wreckage of my ship alive. What do we need? We will need water if we are to survive. I've noticed gourds growing in this area. If we can hollow one out, it will give us a container to carry water. And there should be a few small springs near this mountain. Alrighty. Spiders. We seriously need to find out where the freaking where freaking cactus is that isn't gonna pop out in spiders. I swear to god if you pop out in spiders. Got it. Your side's trading has paid off. 
I like it has to remind you that your trading is paid off. I swear to God, if there is a giant spider in this cave, I'm... I'm just done with this planet. The temperature is dropping rapidly now. This cave should protect us from the elements. I've done some exploring. It looks like this cave contains the sun the rises. The side of the mountain. We can save time and energy by using the passage, instead of trying to find a path over the mountain. Excellent. The passage saved us hours This could walking. be a good day. Let's find my ship. My ship isn't far from here. I think I can make out smoke from the wreckage on the horizon. Oh, joy. There she is. She wasn't much to look at, but she was ours. When we were flying through space, Well, if I were them, I'd definitely send a let's set up a team here. Meaning we should be ready. There's no way this vessel will ever fly again. The damage done by the fall through the planet's atmosphere is severe. The emergency beacon wasn't vaporized in the crash. It's probably buried under 30 meters of rock and sand like the Singularity Drive in the cargo bays. You do, however, find a backup generator with a minuscule amount of energy left. If you have the right components, you think you could construct a makeshift subspace beacon to contact your ship. You won't be able to do anything more than transmit a few pulses to let your crew know where you are. But it should do the trick. More spiders. I'm really just expecting spiders at any point. Hmm. Okay, get off the wall. Alrighty, got all the parts. Now we need to make it a merge. Now we've just made an emergency beacon, which is great. Take your place. You did your job admirably. It is good to know at least one Riemann understands who is the master and who is the slave. The loss of the listening post was a minor setback. The Riemann's refuge in the Dera system has been destroyed. 
Dozens of subjects have been tested in my arena. When the Iconians return, they will find I have done all they have asked, and more. But you will not be there on that dreaded day. This tiresome game ends now. You Keep can talking to Keith. Test subject, but this time, no. This time, I think a more direct approach is best. Ready? Aim. No! <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> I apologize for Slamik's action. I had no idea there was a traitor in our midst. If his actions caused harm to you or your crew, forgive me. That was not my intent. However, your trip to the Nopada system was not in vain. Now you see. Now you know. Hakiv is a pawn of a greater power. The demons of air and darkness are here. You should report to your superiors. Tell them what you have seen here. Oh. Congratulations, Commander. Yep. be it. Starfleet Intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopata system. There is a 67.47% chance that the Iconians are using the Tal Shiar as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire and that their persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. Command is considering lending assistance to Obasek and his forces. But before we come into direct conflict with the Romulans, we want to try a more discreet approach. The data indicates that Hakiv is operating out of the Brea system. Long range sensor scans indicate that there may be a major Talshar installation there. We want you to infiltrate this system, apprehend Hakiv, and destroy the Talshar's base. Hakiv must not escape. He may be the only person who knows how extensive the Iconian influence in Romulan space is. Roger. I have new missions for you. Hakiv had an Iconian gateway. Obisek was right. Hakiv had a working Iconian gateway? Fascinating. We already knew that the Iconians survived the destruction of their home world. Now we know that they are active in Romulan space, and apparently using these gladiatorial combats as a way to test the species of the Alpha Quadrant. Starfleet Intelligence will analyze the data you recovered from Hakiv's command center. I must confer with Admiral Quinn and Starfleet Command. Conflict with the Romulans and the Iconians may be unavoidable. I have new missions for you. Already to the Brea system. Oh, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump away.
have arrived in the Brea system. Preliminary scans show automated defenses and a handful of Romulan ships, most likely Tal Shiar vessels. If we're going to reach that planet and beam down safely, we'll have to breach the Romulan defenses. The weapons platforms are probably short range, but we must disable the satellites and any enemy ships in orbit, or any away team that we send to the planet will be in immediate danger. Tactically, it would be wise to draw off the ships and engage them separately from the fixed defenses. The Zedenia is prepared to assist you in the attack when you are ready. Enemy vessel, you are in Romulan space. Leave immediately or you will be destroyed. Off on transporting at this at this uh, at, at the moment.
Long-range sensors show that Tal Shiar reinforcements are closing on this location. We must be swift. The Tal Shiar base is mobilizing. We need to hurry if we're going to have any chance to find Hakiv and his Iconian connections. I'll meet you on the surface. Alrighty. Force fields and construction supplies to choke off access points. They must have detected us in orbit and they've put their base on emergency lockdown. So as they get over some of the walls and barricades, some of your tactical teams made it to the surface. Beachhead equipment we may be able to get support from them. Romulan ships will be here soon, so though, so we'll have to raise the force shields and won't be able to use transporters. me down here. I can use the plain old normal medical tricorder. Get rid of all of these food items. Power cells.
vectors, science consoles. Really? Thousand better things to have used it for. First charge, download virtual markers under your HUD that will show you where to go to place additional charges. Like the kind I already had. Oh. No, this thing. Massing reserves in multiple locations around the base, but the forest is in synchronous orbit. Captain, we can provide fire support if you supply targeting coordinates. Let's see you use those. Let's get some more water then. Alright, so I know where this is. I really wish it didn't give you a accolade requirements for other uh, career tracks. Like, I get it, you need to put it up anyways. But still, it's kind of annoying when it's like, oh, hey, you can do this if you're an engineer, but I'm not an engineer. 
that additional orbital strike is. Can't do it from down here. Specifically said that it has to be high up. Promenade outside of the building south by one of those force fields. There's an access gate on the rockway, but you'll need to disable the force field. If you create a massive power drop with facilities, it should temporarily disrupt the field. in a reinforced section of the base. You'll need to access chip. Poor people. I mean, they were Robulids and they were trying to murder me, but still.
certain ID chip to bypass the security lock on the access gates in front of the central plaza. Like how red shirts are. People in red shirts are engineers, but they are usually the people that die in the first Star Trek series, at least. for them. Ship has started to suffer a series of cascading system failures. It's nothing serious yet, but it looks like we were, were being hit by an Iconian virus. We purge the computer memory and restore from archives, but it will take some time and we'll continue to have system problems until the work is complete. Even if it works, Kiev can simply send another virus our way. You'll need to find and destroy the economy and transmitter before the DeForest will be secure, sir. None of this matters! We just need to open the gate, bring the Iconians here, and it will be over. That was DeForest's plan. And you saw how that ended. We finally have the opportunity. Victory is within our grasp. You call this victory? It's over. This is done. You're done. No, we can still finish. You, you're the cause of all of this. Hi. You don't even understand what you walked into. You're too late to stop it. A lonely being. Such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent, and that any future will depend on a place in their regime. All you've done is arrive in time for the end of existence as you know it. Oh, joy! It's the end of the world. We know it. That's going to make my job a little harder. The road to Riemann independence will be long and bloody, but this is a significant step. While I do not seek your approval of my methods, the crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect, and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this gratifying. I must return to the Zanidia. I recommend you finish what you came to do, and leave quickly. Get at the Iconic computer system. They're in a the research room near the courtyard. Just back the way you came. Oh, 
joy. Okay, give me a freaking second. I need to take care of the interface. Take out that giant gateway. Sheila is here with her flagship. I'm trying to hold her off, but the Zedenia is no match for a ship of that class. You'd better return to your vessel quickly. All right, let's get out of here. Ship is disabled. 
Oh, look at me. I'm shaking in my boots. Full power back to shields. That's an Iconian ship. They're taking the Leoval in tow. They're heading back through the gate. Scylla just escaped, or was she kidnapped against her will? Regardless, the gate is deep in Romulan space. It's too risky to leave it until she... How she are controls. Even with Havek and the Empress gone. Understood. That was another Iconian gateway. That explains how they moved the entire fleets. You have to get out of Romulan space and warn Starfleet Command. The Romulan threat may be over for now, but it looks like a bigger threat is looming on the horizon. Alright, get us out of here. Starfleet will continue the search for Sela's vessel, but as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sela's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. We have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when their backs are against the wall. Like wounded Salot cats, they will strike out at anyone in reach, and the Federation may bear the brunt of their fury. The return of the Iconians could change everything. Great. I have Congratulations, you. Commander. Alrighty. That'll do for now. I'll see you guys next time where we take on more missions involving the Iconians. After that, we face the Cardassians. See you guys next time.